This morning, as early voting begins in Illinois, the Pritzker administration is warning of an across-the-board income tax hike if voters do not approve a graduated tax increase. Eric is live at the Thompson Center with the details. Eric? Good morning. The Pritzker administration is saying in order to cover the current budget crisis, income taxes may have to go up by 20 percent. We all know that our middle and lower income families cannot withstand a 20 percent tax increase, and it will only serve to deepen the dramatic inequities that we already see across the state. The lieutenant governor was speaking on a virtual rally yesterday for the fair tax and the passage of that fair tax amendment. Earlier this month, the administration said if the fair tax amendment isn't passed, there could be severe budget cuts to critical services in the state. If there were a 20 percent increase, that would effectively make the tax rate in Illinois go from nearly 5 percent to nearly 6 percent for everyone, regardless of income levels. It would raise an estimated $4 billion a year more than would be raised under the grant graduated tax the Pritzker administration is pushing and is on the ballot in Illinois. The governor and supporters of the fair tax say 97 percent of taxpayers in the state who make less than $250,000 would pay the same as they do now or less, putting more of the tax burden on the wealthy. Opponents say it will hurt small businesses, cost jobs, and cause more people to leave the state. Both sides have been spending millions to influence voters' decisions. Now, later today, House Republicans will be responding to the threat, in essence, of a 20% income tax uh, raise for the state of Illinois. And Governor Pritzker also has an event later on today where he is expected to speak about the fair tax as well. We are live at the Thompson Center. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.